Welcome back. This is The Intake, and I'm Mike. This is in response to Leon from Model Car 1589's question, community question. How do you go about planning your what you're going to do with your next build? And he had a great video where he had everything laid out, how he does it. He was pretty, very specific on the method he has. I'm not very specific. At least not yet. I'm evolving all the time. It's con I'm constantly evolving when it comes to this. Um, but to be honest, um, I, I get stuck on box art a lot. <laughs> it's real hard for me to get away from box art until I see something somebody on YouTube does. Um, or Paul's Custom Illustrated magazine. That that's huge. Or something you see on the internet. Like, um, I saw Jason from Blue Ox Model Shops. I guess it was his, I don't know if it's brother-in-law or who built the Blue Nova. And Jason actually showed that car. But prior to that, I saw that on Facebook and I screenshotted it. It was like a 71, 72 Nova, whatever it is. It was beautiful, beautiful build. And I screenshotted it. I'm like, man, that... That's how I would do that Nova. And then Jason showed it quite a while later, like six months later. And I'm like, and I told him, yeah, I already screenshotted that one. That's a beauty. But I do stuff like that. Um, speaking of screenshots, here you go. This was my original inspiration for my Nomad for Paul's Custom Illustrated Hot Rod Illustrated Group Build. Um... And I'm using this kit. Now, I'm not a real fan. I love Nomads, but I'm not a real fan of that. I um, It's a cool car. Don't get me wrong. I love cars no matter what. I would go up there and gawk at it and take pictures of it. But um, I would want mine a little different. You know? Um, and then I... I, I you know, I look at the box. I look at the box art. They have different versions. Um... I don't know if I can grab it real quick. Uh, no, it's not available, sorry. But um, that 69 Super B or whatever it is, it's got the orange and the blue. I bought two of those because I love both versions and I'm going to build both versions. And that's box art and that's that's where I got my idea from for that. Pretty... pretty uh, Kind of like a tunnel vision thing. I see it and I can't get away from it. So that's the hard part is getting away from the box art for me. Um, but I do open up the box. I go through, see what they got, what decals they got. Maybe that inspires me to do something different. Uh, what options they have, custom versions they have, custom pieces and parts. That That is a big diff. That'll be a game changer for me. That'll change up what car uh, I build here. I love Corvettes. So I bought this model kit, the, the 67 Corvette. Um, and I, I love Corvettes, and I, I really want to do them stock, but I just think that is so cool. And I'm going to build one like that. Um, probably even use the decals. Uh, mine will be more of a metallic orange, because that's what I'm into right now. Who knows what I'm going to be into in the near future, but that's what I'm into right now. Um, and my models are always subject to change as we go along. Because I started, I started with the Custom Illustrated Nomad, right? And then I saw another guy's video where he took the like that kit that you know, at least this kit you can make the El Camino or whatever, and he chopped chopped it completely off. Chopped the roof completely off where you would do it for the El Camino and then just put the seats in and everything and made this into a truck bed. Obviously, the way he painted it and everything was just really cool. And the, uh, all the extras he did doing the customizing and everything was really cool. But I really thought that was an awesome build. And But I also thought that I couldn't just flat out do it exactly like he did. And then I came up with the that top, and that's where I'm at right now on that. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna prime this and do a video on it. 
uh, my uh, progress on this one, but that's see, so what I'm getting at there is I, it it can change. Um, and I still look at this purple one, and I love I like the window they took out that they took out that post that goes for that slot. I think it was a sliding window in the No Man. And it just makes it look so long. So it, it just, um, I would like to do that maybe on the next one because I do have the that newer kit. Um, but I would like to take out that post and make that glass go all the, way, all the way down like that. How long it makes the car look, lowering it and taking it out just changes its whole look. Pretty, um, pretty interesting how that happens. Um, color will change too. I mean, I'm, I'm still going back and forth on what color I'm going to paint this Nomad. I, I know I'm going to paint it the, the dark purple, the deep purple body, but I don't know what I'm going to do with the top. I'm bouncing between the uh, the lighter purple, like they did on this one, um, or a white pearl, because I look in the Customs Illustrated and a lot of white pearl in there, and it really it really makes the car jump out. You know, when they do that, uh, it, it does something to it. I mean, I, old time Rambler 69, I went back, I realized I haven't seen a lot of his stuff and everybody just says how great his builds are. And I went back and watched a lot of his videos and I told him what I was doing. And I noticed he uses a lot of like bright white, white pearls or whatever in his builds. There's a lot of white in there and, um, it really looks sharp. So... That's that's the other thing. And Paul and who else? Somebody else does it too. I can't remember who it is. It's a, a lot of white pearl interiors. That's why I started doing. I tried it and everybody loved it. So yeah, it's a uh, it's an eye catcher. Um, yeah. So that's basically how I go about uh, deciding what I want to do with a kit. Uh, also, things as you're building, um, if you can't figure out how to get it where you want it in the stance, sometimes I compromise. Um, if things don't go your the way you want them to when you're building it and modifying things, and um, I'll just I'll just make a detour and uh, just make make it a little easier then just chopping the whole car apart. Like the 40-hour uh, group build, first time I was doing that low rider type paint job with all the tape, uh, I had a real intricate design drawn out prior to the build. And I started it, and I'm like, whew, there is no... I never did it before, so I'm like, there is no way. How, how long it was taking me, there is no way I'm going to finish this in 48 hours. So I simplified it. I just went, you know, rectangles, geometrical way easier than than swooping lines and like yeah th you guys that do that it's amazing it's amazing how you do it Le leon you're you're painting you're taping off it's awesome so that's my answer to leon's question it was a good question uh i really liked his layout and how he presented it so i felt i wanted to answer that so Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Y'all take care. Mm -hmm.